get ready, because you about to be an ATLE. You know, other news this week, other news this week, also on straight from the A.com. If you are an avid reader, you may have seen that our one of our uh, favorite Cosby kids actually got engaged. Keisha Knight Pulliam got engaged to uh, Brad James. They announced their engagement. They've been dating about what, about a year or two? Let me see. I said a new couple alert last, let me see when that, what date is that? 17, 2019. So I don't know if they had started dating then or what, but that's a little bit over a year, about a year and a half. Um, so she has a uh, spread in People Magazine where she sent over the pictures, but she also shared this picture on her Instagram with a heartfelt message that said, I said yes. I love you, Mr. Brad James. This is my favorite photo from our magical engagement dinner. My desire is a lifetime and beyond filled with love and family. My heart is so filled with joy. So excited to continue to choose each other and our family every day. Thank you for helping us share the good news, people. And thank you to everyone who made this day possible. And she also reminds Georgians to go and vote. Now, here are some of the People magazine pictures. There's one where she's showing off her ring and she got her little daughter, Ella, in her arms. People magazine reports that the handsome actor who is 39 popped the question to Pulliam, who is 41, earlier this month in Atlanta with a custom diamond eternity band made by Fev Z of Aiden Jewelers. The newly engaged couple celebrated with immediate family, including Ella, Pulliam's three-year-old daughter from her previous relationship with Ed Hartwell during a magical, intimate, COVID-compliant evening filled with love. Keisha and Brad are excited to find their happily ever after. Y'all hear the violin? Y'all hear? It's so beautiful that she has found the love of her life. I can't sing. Don't, 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 don't laugh. I know I can't sing. Anyway, this marks the second marriage for both parties. I don't know who Brad James was married to before, but he ain't married now. Uh, Pulliam, Pulliam was briefly married, as you know, to former NFL star Ed Hartwell. And all of you Housewife fans remember him from uh, The Real Housewives of Atlanta's first season, first and half of the second season. He was married to Lisa Wu. Uh, she shares her three-year-old daughter with Hartwell. And remember, they had a tumultuous divorce. The divorce lasted longer than the marriage did, child. It was so, like, she should have been on this show with Ed because they was in the news every other day. They was fighting over everything. They was fighting over paternity. I think they probably still fighting over custody right now. Uh, she accused him of, uh, child, I can remove this because I'm just telling all the tea. She, she accused him uh, already having a mistress because they hadn't been dating but two months or so when they eloped and got married on New Year's Eve. And as soon as I saw that she was engaged again, I said, I hope she don't marry Brad on New Year's Eve. Okay. I, you know, give it another day, give it another month or two, you know, try, try a uh, Valentine's Day this time. Hopefully it'll last a little longer. Um, also, um, what, uh, Ed, what happened to Ed? Oh, you want to know what happened to Ed? Well, Ed actually got married first. <laughs> Ed is on his third marriage, his third marriage and on his third child with his third wife. Okay. Ed, hold on. Let me, let me show you it. Let me pull up Ed. Hold on. Y'all know we got all the tea over on straight from the A.com. And I'm like, I wasn't going to mention it, but since you asked, since you asked, 
Hold on, you know, y'all know I'm country, honey. My ass got a T with it. Anyway, um, Ed Hotwell married the woman that Keisha Knight Pulliam claimed was his mistress in the divorce proceedings. Ooh, y'all talking about T. Yes, it's his third. He got he was married to Lisa Wu. He was married to Keisha, and now he's married to this uh nice young lady here who you know he was his woman. Um, he welcomed a third child a few months before he got married to his recent um baby mother. Her name is Tanya Carroll. He moved on. Um, the couple welcomed their baby girl that they named Seven Elise uh, back, let me see when they had their baby, uh, back on um, June, in June 2018. So the former NFL uh, baller also landed a new wife as he made her an honest woman. And she recently, uh, well, recently as in, let me see, when was this? 2019, February 2019. She took to Instagram to tell everybody that they was married. And I guess they got married in February. Oh, they got married in February. It looked like February 14th. I don't know if that's a four or a seven. But, um, well, I guess, you know, Keisha, if she's trying to be, you know, vindictive, she can get married on Valentine's Day too. Then they both be married on Valentine's Day. There you go. <sighs> but here she is. This was what she shared. And she said, rest and relaxation after a great night of celebrating one of the most amazing moments in my life. And she showed her ring. She kind of looked like Lisa Wu right there. Life's journey is never defined up front, but seemingly always worth the unknown journey. So I guess they still married. I don't know. I haven't, you know, checked them out lately, but they was married then. So there's that. A happy ending for everyone. A happy ending for everyone. Now Keisha has a man. Ed has a woman. I don't know what Lisa Wu was doing. Maybe Lisa got a man too. I don't know. I don't know. You said you guessed Tanya is the bread when it. Ooh, y'all so shady. Y'all are so shady. Uh, not Valentine's Day. Get married on MLK Day. <sighs> well, there's that. Why y'all be dragging that man like that? That man didn't do nothing wrong, did he? I don't know. I he marries every baby mom. At least he make his women honest. At least he make his women honest. Some some men don't do that. Some men don't do that. Anyway, uh, I digress. I digress. I digress. Now.